BYD have revealed a new electric car, which is, I think, outside of their new brand, you know, the new SUV brand, I think it's the best looking BYD that I've ever seen. It really, to me, it's basically the kind of coupe style electric car done really well. A lot of them look, I think BMW's designs, for example, in this niche look, look t- pretty terrible. That's just my opinion. But this new BYD electric car actually looks amazing. But I want to know what you guys think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. The new BYD Song L has been revealed recently. Sounds like a hybrid because there was a, well, there is a hybrid version you can buy, but this is not. This is an all electric version. It's called the Song L. And we know the almost the exact specifications for this vehicle. And we've seen the images. This is what it looks like, guys. What are your thoughts on this one? The Song L's interior has a very nice, fairly minimalist design. Doesn't have many buttons. So some journalists are going to have a heart attack about that. But you can see that there are some buttons, definitely quite a few buttons on the steering wheel. Whatever the case may be, you have to admit, some BYD's interiors, they're not the best. Um, I know a lot of BYD fans now, if you bought the car, it's hard to be objective about things. Sorry, no offense intended there, but it is. Uh, but realistically, some of BYD's cars, the interiors are just not really the best. I had the 803. I thought the interior was okay, but not, not the nicest. This, though, is on a different level. They've done a great job. The minimalist design style is really impressive. And as you can see there, there is actually a rotatable center console and a large LCD instrument panel, which is part of the cockpit. So the screen there for the driver is quite a large screen, a bigger screen than what BYD normally has which I think is a, quite a nice improvement. The Song L is actually based on BYD's e-platform 3.0. So that's one of the, uh, the changes made to this vehicle. It's using BYD's essentially the Atto 3 architecture, the, the Dolphin architecture, by the way, five, more than 500,000 Dolphins have been sold in the last 12 months. So that car is selling incredibly well. How big is this car? It's about a, a similar size to a Tesla Model Y. It's 4,840 millimeters long. So slightly longer than a Model Y, 1,950 millimeters wide and 1,560 millimeters tall. It's actually a pretty big car. Wheelbase is 2,930 millimeters, which is about 2.9 meters. It's got five seats. As you can see, it's not a seven seater. There's no seven seat options. However, it comes in a standard version. The cheapest version is a single motor rear wheel drive, which is unusual for BYD. And also it comes with a dual motor version if you want to pay more. Plus, Car News China says that there is a four-wheel drive SUV version. So I haven't seen that one yet, but apparently that's on offer. Now, one of the biggest changes to BYD's cars, something they've been cr- criticized for, a lot of journalists have criticized them for this. I thought the 803 had pretty good suspension, but a lot of journalists think it's not that great. They say that um, it's not that refined. BYD's new suspension system called Dysus. I made a video just about Dysus suspension. It's incredibly impressive. It's really next generation technology. I don't think you're even seeing suspension this good in new BMWs. The Dyson suspension body control system is something that um, I think is a big selling point for any BYD. The single motor version comes with the same motor as the BYD 803. I think it's identical. It's got the same power output. It's got 150 kilowatt, but there is an upgraded version. You want to pay more, you can get 230 kilowatt. Maximum speed is 201 kilometers an hour, and it takes 4.3 seconds to do that using the all-wheel drive version. So if you want to get the dual motor version, it's quite a fast car, 4.3 seconds, zero to 62 miles an hour, zero to 100. The blade battery, it's got an LFP, so lithium ion phosphate blade battery, two sizes. The smaller pack is a 71 kilowatt hour size, which is even still fairly big. But if you want more range, you can get the 87 kilowatt hour battery pack and that will give you a range of 662 kilometers cltc by the way the real world range probably wltp around about 610 kilometers anyway either way that's going to give you i think more than enough range for about 99 percent of use cases but one thing about this car that i'm a big fan of is it has the c to b which is basically BYD saw what Tesla was doing with structural battery packs and went, yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea. They started doing it. I've really got to give BYD some credit for that. I don't think that's, people say the Chinese copy, but you know what? If there's something good to copy, that's the smart move. That's what I think anyway. So 
It's a cell to body chassis. It's basically a structural battery pack. And it's also the same structural battery pack that's used with the BYD seal. So prices, well, we don't know the prices for all the different variants yet, but we do know the cheapest version costs $34,000. To give you some context, the cheapest version of the Tesla Model Y is $36,000. So it's $2,000 cheaper than the Model Y, but keep in mind, the cheapest version of the Model Y does have a lot more power. So it does have a lot more power, but it also has, well, similar specifications in terms of range, um, the Model Y is very similar car to this car in terms of specifications, except for the power figure. The Model Y has quite a bit more power. It's got around, uh, probably around 280 horsepower, and this has got around 190. So that's the cheapest versions, but this is cheaper. So you can pay 3000 less and get this with less power, but you've got to admit it's a very light, nice looking car. And also it's a different shape completely different shape. Probably no one will have seen this thing before. So if you bought this, you'd, you'd feel probably quite unique, maybe it's special. It's quite a nice looking car. Anyway, what are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments. This car is part of a massively expanding and growing family of Chinese electric cars. Will this be exported out of China? I don't know, but China does, or BYD China does seem to focus on exporting the cars that use the new e-platform 3.0, which is why they don't, they don't export, say, the BOD Tang or the BOD Han or their DMI series vehicles, as in the plug-in hybrids, they don't export those cars really at all. There's a couple that have been sent to Europe, but very, very few. They really focus on the new e-platform 3.0 cars for global distribution, meaning this is definitely the kind of car that will be on BOD's radar to ship it worldwide. But we don't know yet if they will be, very possible. Let me know what you think of this car in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.